guys, welcome back to Filed by Francesca. I am back with another haul. This time we are doing part two of two. <laughs> part two of the Shein haul. And if you guys are new, I would appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. So whenever I post a new video, you will get a notification. And if you are returning, you guys know when these trays come out, there are charms on the way. So I have lots of charms, um, lots of rhinestones, and I am excited. So let's get started. I am starting with the 10 piece uh, gold heart set. I think I got this in silver too, uh, but let's see if we get to it soon. It is a cute, um, it looks like a wand to me with a diamond in the middle. It kind of gives me that Sailor Moon, I'm showing my age, if you guys remember Sailor Moon wand, that's what it reminds me of. Um, but this is the gold version and I paid $1.26 for 10 pieces of these and look how cute this is guys <laughs> it's giving royalty to me and of course I'm pulling out my handy dandy um, 56 grid uh, storage container that I got from uh, Timu Temu um, I'm almost done filling this up, but I just recently did another um, Timu haul. I don't know how do you pronounce it, guys. Is it Temu, Timu? I'm, whatever comes to mind is what I'm going to say, but I purchased a second one uh, because I do think I'm going to fill this one up today. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm actually going to pull all of these out. fill them up I think I was successful the last time by not giving descriptions and just showing you guys the charms with the music in the background I think you guys preferred that more oh, I always have trouble opening the first one so I'll try to do the same thing but if it's just something I just can't hold back, I'm going to say something. But these were so gorgeous. I had to get them. And like I said, I do think I got it in the silver, but let's see if I run into it. So next is a 10-piece um, silver teddy bear rhinestone uh, set. I think I got this um, in gold in the other, or the first uh, Shein, or the first part. Remember this is all the same haul, but I, I divided it up in two parts. Yeah, I do have it. So I did get it in, um, in gold and silver. So this is the gold, and this is the silver. Same exact beer with the rind, the, it's like a heart rhinestone in the middle. But you can't beat this price, it was $1.26 for 10. And I think they're cute. Next, we have a 10 piece water drop shape. It kind of reminds me of like a, a lightning bolt or even like a door handle, like them old school door handles where you have to knock, uh, pull it up and knock on the door.
Uh, these were $1.49 for the 10 pieces. And here are the silver ones I was talking about at the beginning where I got the golds and I did get it in silver. Same exact design, just in silver. Um, I did not mention that it is curved. It has a slight curve to it, so it will fit snug on your nail, which I love uh, because when you have the flat pieces, you always have to add like a little extra to try and help it um, feel more snug or solid on the nail, but it, it helps so much when the um, charm is curved so it fits super snug onto your nail. And this is the silver. Uh, the silver was a little bit cheaper than uh, the gold. These were a dollar 11 cents and the gold was a dollar 26 cents. Again, um, these prices may vary. The prices change all the time because they have the lightning deals and promotions, but I'm just letting you know how much it was at the time I purchased it. So you may get it at a cheaper deal and it may be a little bit, um, more if you go on and try to purchase it because maybe I caught it at a lightning deal or maybe you will be catching it at a lightning deal. You never know. So the next set, I got some strawberries. What I liked about these, I seen uh, that they had pink strawberries, which I've never seen. So we have the red and the pink. And these are just, um, they're a little bit bigger because I think I did get some more, did I? No, I think they were watermelons that I got. I think I do have some more cherries. It might be later on in this haul, but uh, these are more like plasticky. Can I say plasticky? Or maybe resin. It looks like it's more resin. So these strawberries were 85 cents for 10. You cannot beat that, guys. 85 cents for 10 pieces. Oh, these are kind of big. I might have to put this in the bigger slotted ones. The, I did purchase a... I did purchase a larger um, storage container for the large um, sets. And I think I unboxed this in my Timu haul that I did recently. I purchased this to store the larger charms. These aren't that big, but they're bigger than the normal smaller sizes. So I'm going to put it in one of these containers. So they all can fit snug. As you can see, these are much larger and they fit perfectly in these. So I'm kind of starting to fill this up too, which I'm excited. All right, and let's get back in here. So now I have a 20 piece um, gold geometric rhinestone set. Um, this has a variety of shapes and um, they do have the curved back. I'm actually gonna take them out one by one so you can see the multiple shapes. Mm, I think that might be it. 
right, so it's these four. So you have a huge diamond with the gold surrounding, and we have the heart, and we have this like um, oblong shape and a rectangle type diamond, and it's 20 pieces. <laughs> So you get five of each set. Now will I put these all in one? I don't think they're all going to fit in one. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have them separated because they're different um, shapes. And this set was a dollar sixty nine for the twenty for the twenty pieces a dollar sixty nine. All right, so here I have some dollar signs. I did purchase some more of these in the previous, uh, in the part one, but these are much larger than the others. If I can find the others right quick to show you, to give you a comparison of them. Mm. And they were gold. So these dollar signs, again, are much larger and the other ones that I purchased were gold and much smaller. So these are silver and on a larger scale. Uh, the dollar sign rhinestone charms were a dollar forty six for the ten pieces. Next up, I have these teardrop shaped rhinestones in the, the multicolor in gold. Anything that gives off like a multicolor holographic type feel, I like. And I like the like white diamond um, look also, but multicolor speaks more to me. There's something about looking down at your nails and seeing it change, that, which is why I love like temperature change gel. Uh, polish because I feel like you have a new set every single time your temperature changes and I feel the same way about multicolor diamonds so this does come with a gold backing you can't really see the gold from the front because all you're seeing is diamonds which I'm not mad at bling 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 Uh, these were a dollar seventy cents for uh, ten pieces. I did get it in the blue color, also, and the blue was the same price, a dollar seventy. It has the gold backing. The middle stone is just a dark blue color. So, the next one is this 10 piece love heart nail charm set. 
this was a dollar and nine cents for the 10 pieces. It is a heart with like a wand with uh, three diamonds on there. Um, it's not curved, it is a flat back. But the length of it would be great for a long nail set. This is what it looks like up close. It's kind of giving off like a dripping heart. I think that's exactly what it is. I don't think that's a wand. I just, I think that's um, liquid dripping from the heart. What do you guys think? So again, this was a dollar and nine cents for the 10 pieces. Next up, it is a 15 piece pink bow rhinestone set. This was a dollar forty-two cents. These do come curved. And it's just a cute pink rhinestone set. You can see the curve there. $1.42 for the 15 pieces. I have another, looks like a dripping heart also, but it's a different design. It's a silver set, but it only has the one heart rhinestone in the middle but it's still giving off that dripping heart background or um, silver casing. This set was a dollar 21 cents for the 10 pieces. I was talking about royalty earlier, but this is the epitome. This is queen or king crowns in silver. It does have the curved back. And this is what it looks like up close. And this set was a dollar eighteen cents for the ten pieces. And guess what? It is full. I finally have a full charm set. Now on to the next box. Empty spaces mean more shopping, right? Multicolor silver and gold heart wand with a dinkly um, teddy bear. Let's get close in here. 
So it's giving like an illusion of a teddy bear holding on to a heart balloon and he's just floating up in the air. <laughs> so you can attach the heart to the nail and have the teddy bear dangling from your nail. And it comes in a like teal blue, a black heart. And then um, it looks like there's one purple and one or two pinks in here with two white diamonds. This set was a dollar sixty nine cents for the ten pieces. It doesn't give you an exact um, replica of the colors. It says it's ran randomly chosen. So you won't get exactly one black or one purple. You may get three purple, two blacks. It's randomly chosen. The next charm set is a 10 piece snowflake set Christmas is coming up around the corner and I thought these were gorgeous so the details in the snowflake and the placing of the rhinestones was so pretty to me um, you do get two different Ryan, uh, two different snowflakes, as you can see. Is it different, or just the white background is making it look different? It may be all the same. I think that white background was just making it look different. It is one same snowflake. Isn't that crazy? How? A background can change what a rhinestone looks like because this makes it look like it's different it's skinnier here on the white part it looks skinnier and this looks thicker anyways this 10 piece uh, snowflake rhinestone set was a dollar 42 Next charm is some cherries. When I was talking about the strawberries, I thought um, I got more strawberries, but I was thinking of these um, cherries. These have a gold backing to them. It has a slight curve to it where the cherries are. And you know the red rhinestones and like a green backing for the leaves and I thought this was cute here it is up close the cherries were a dollar and 18 cents for the 10 pieces That's it for like the really loose charms. This has its own little casing for it. This is a 20 piece geometric rhinestone set. So it's giving you different shapes, the heart, oblong, diamond, just a variety of different shapes and a gold with this like light brown diamond in the middle. This set was $2.44. The next gold set, um, 
I believe I pulled these out in one of my nail sets and I'm finally getting to do the haul. It is a 12 grid flat back, excuse me, rhinestone set. I don't think I need to pull this out. You can see it from here. It gives the tiny diamonds and as, it, as you go to the right, the diamonds gradually increase in size. And then on this side, we have the hearts, uh, the oblong shape, uh, butterflies, teardrop, a diamond shape, and then a larger diamond shape. This set costs $2.04 at the time that I purchased them. Next up, is this adhesive glue. What drew me to this is I think I have several of these, but it was the needle tubing, the needle point that made me want to try it. To get a more accurate or precise placement of the glue, when you're doing your, um, you know, your decorations with your rhinestones, you can be more precise when placing your glue so you don't have that much, um, like you're not just glopping down some glue and waiting for it to self-level, if it even self-levels, and you just get more of an accurate, um, placement with this skinnier tube. At least I'm hoping that's what it, what it will be like since I haven't tried it yet, but it looks like it'll do the job. We'll see. This tubing, this uh, rhinestone adhesive glue was $1.49. Next, I got some um, eyeshadow brushes. I have some, but the color just spoke to me. The purple, I just loved it. So I got some, you know, I used a lot for the chrome and mermaid um, placement. Uh, this is a 20 piece set and it was 85 cents for this. It was too cheap to leave behind. <laughs> And last but not least, I just wanted to try these even though I use um, paper towel when I um, do my nails. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use, use these and I just wanted to try it. Uh oh, this looks like it's cut. Are all of them cut? Okay, maybe this happened with the packaging. Oh, oh, I cut it. See, this is why I say you have to be careful when you open up your packages. And I use this to open up my packages. I'm pretty sure when I was cutting open the bag, I cut into the towels. Does that mean I'm not gonna use them? Of course I'm gonna use them. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste in this house. Um, I'm gonna open one up. Just so you can see how big it is. It's giving off like hospital gown material. It's not as thick as a paper towel, so I'm not sure how absorbent this is, but I feel like it'll definitely protect your uh, work area. This set is 20 pieces, and it was $2.24 for the 20 piece, um, how do they call these? table mat, table towel mats, that's what they say. Oh, 
that sucks. I really need to be more conscious of how I cut into these bags when I open them. And I believe that's it for this haul. If you guys like the content, please press that like button. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button. Make comments, guys. I try to reply. I definitely reply to everyone. Um, and that's it. Happy shopping, guys. If you guys have suggestions on things, please let me know. I am open to learning from everyone. And that's it. See you guys on the next one.